Terra Luna Classic has a vast ecosystem, and you guys don't get to see all of it. But I'm trying every day to share a little bit more with you, and I like to revisit some of these other projects. And today we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to check out um, some of the projects that we've kind of looked at before. And uh, you guys, if you haven't already, you should consider each and every one of these as number one, an investment, and number two, uh, as a place for you to do your trading or to to check your data. Whatever it is that you do in the Luna Classic community, if you're not just hodling, and if you're a builder on the network, the times are going to be real bright, and you would be fortunate to be a builder in this network. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. And if you want to help me directly right here, Weeks, uh, go start doing some Luna Classic trading on Weeks, because what happens there is, uh, of course, uh, if you sign up under me, then I get credit for it. And then number two, we burn tokens, and it's important to burn tokens in this community. In addition, if you want to really do some burning, and you like gaming, your gaming experience is best served at Terra Casino because they uh, will burn tokens on every transaction that you have. And in fact, you can use uh, Terra Luna Classic, you can use Bitcoin, you can use Ethereum, you can use any number of different tokens over there uh, to enhance your enjoyment and your gaming experience. And then, of course, uh, Femex, MEXC Global, if you want to. But the important part is that you just do a little something here. Now, we're going to kick this off with the news. We're going to get into the price action, and I'm going to show you a couple of projects. Uh, and <laughs> Dirt McGirts are acting up again, guys. I, I can't believe it, uh, but the Dirt McGirts uh, are, are acting up again. You might be asking yourself, what are the Dirt McGirts? Well, I'm going to show you. They did. I'll show you. Anyway, so um, Terraform Labs bows to the SEC clampdown. User, U.S. users force uh, you face restricted access, which is probably going to happen on Luna, not Luna Classic, but Luna. So uh, that should have an effect on... Uh, what's happening. I don't know that it's going to be a negative effect. In fact, it might even be a positive effect for Luna Classic since Terraform Labs has nothing to do with it. Uh, as far as the, the rest of this, there's a little hyperbole going around right now. Like, uh, can Lunk reach $100? Um, and Lunk price loses steam. So we're asking two questions. Can it reach $100? And why is it losing steam? Well, uh, and thirdly, uh, Binance burns. The Binance burns are coming in a couple days. We're going to see another significant burn. Now, volume has been down, so probably not going to be as robust as it's been for the last few months. Then we've got another uh, stuff, another another group of uh, protocols being discussed on Commonwealth. Um, USTC Lunk Pegging Control System Work Process, a uh, list of companies and software developers with expertise in Cosmos development in order to, in, in, to get people interested, enhancing validator efficiency in Terra Classic. Governance rules to present double and network validating. And guess what? We actually have a vote on this. You're not going to believe what happened. I told you, bad actors, you, you know, maybe you believe me, maybe you don't, but I'm going to show you. Matter of fact, rules to prevent double network validating. Uh, it, it did go up for a vote. You can see right here that there's, uh, well, let's go over here and look at this. This is, this is the proposal right here. Uh, and you can see how much of a no there is. So, Preventing it, Interstellar Lounge, Stake Bin, Lunk Development Fund, Lunk Burn Programs, by Studio Cosmic. Who voted no with Vito? Uh, no, well, who voted no? Moon Runners, the Modern Joseph, Modern Joseph node, uh, Hexagon, no with Vito. Jesus is Lord One and Jesus is Lord Two because they have a vested interest in control over here. Uh, who abstained? Kryptonian so far ha has. Uh, abstain, but look at this. We use no with veto. One of the largest validators is using no with veto for something that they're participating in. This is some low rent shit right here, guys. Uh, I, I would be very leery of continuing to stake with Jesus as Lord because they're looking to look when when Jesus is Lord two becomes uh, the same level as this one at 4.5, then they have 10% of the voting foul. They have 10% of voting power. That's insanity. So we'll see how this uh, how this all breaks out. Now, uh, I, I do want to stress, it is entirely possible that all nodes will vote in favor of Jesus is Lord. Why? Because Jesus is Lord pays them every month uh, for access because their uh, their stake protocol goes through all nodes, as with a lot of these guys. So it's, it's not limited to all nodes, but the fact that all nodes reaps yield and money off of these guys every single month most probably means they're going to vote in their better interest and not your better interest. And guys, I can't stress enough 
what is going on here. And I hope, I hope that you are paying attention. Now let's talk price action. All right, guys, structurally, nothing has changed. We're still hobbling around uh, in between the, the uh, 0.5 and the 0.618 on Fib retracement, uh, looking to get back into that golden pocket, not getting a lot of help from the broader market. Broader market is down about $48 billion on the day already, uh, early in the morning in US time. Uh, of course, you know, overseas been open for, you know, 12 hours or so. So uh, we're, we're just not seeing a lot of positivity coming out of the broader markets at this point. That doesn't mean, by the way, it doesn't mean that there's any cause for concern. Uh, if you watch my video last night, then you'll know uh, what I said, Bitcoin needs to come down probably to about 59, 60, 61,000 uh, in order to get an opportunity to make a big run. Now, when I say that, that's a best case scenario because there is a there is a situation in which Bitcoin could come all the way down to about 53,000. If you look at it, if you look at Feb retracement, if you look at history, then you'll understand that, that there is a uh, there is a narrative where that could happen. So we'll be watching out for it. And uh, if it happens, uh, we'll, we'll let you know. Uh, also, uh, trading volume down to 20 million, uh, market cap down to 590 million. Uh, over here, we actually have the same amount of volume on USTC as we have on Luna Classic. Never seen that before. Never seen that before. So, you know, something is going on here and it, it's this market uh, is getting ready for something big. It's it's getting ready for something big. I do want to say that. Um, and, and I think it's important to point out you don't have as much stable coin as we currently have $110 billion in Tether right now. If you're looking for, uh, if you're looking to not pump your bags at some point pretty soon, venture capital, uh, big time investors, they're sitting there in USDT right now waiting for their moment. Now let's take a moment to check out some of these uh, protocols and let's talk about them. First up, of course, is Lunk Dash. It's the one that we just talked about. You can come over here every time and you can see exactly what's going on in this ecosystem and you'll know exactly where it is you'll know exactly who is burning now of course you won't know them by name but you will know them by uh wallet if you see it you'll you'll see these significant amounts of burns and who they are uh you can check wallet statistics how many wallets there are that are holding uh how much you know what what we have uh, as far as positive activity you can check all of this out and you can see activity statistics you can see in the one day there's 4200 wallets active in seven days, 15,000, and you can see how active everybody actually is. Uh, how many wallets hold 100 billion, uh, 1 billion lunk? 119 wallets, 98 without a centralized exchange. So you can you can see everything you need to know. Uh, you can see the top holders. It does take a while to load. We're going to move on from this uh, as soon as we possibly can there uh, because we don't really want to to go look at that top burners uh, you can see the same thing a little easier right there and that's the binance hot wallet and then there's a fee collector then you got lunatics you got mexc you can go down this list here and you can see who the top burners are so far and you can pay attention to it at all times uh you have the delegate and compound option over here you've got money flow uh telling you what's going on you have delegation flow also telling you what's going on you have to let it populate uh, then you have balances, then you have CW20 tokens, and you see these are all of the different tokens that are on the network, uh, and you can get, uh, I see like a little uh, mint, are they mintable, uh, uh, it, uh, all the information that you need in order to check it out. And as you can see right here, there's about 50 protocols over here uh, for you to check out. Now, if you want to check out Burns, uh, then that's going to be lunkmetrics.com. Uh, here's your dashboard, here's your top burners, and then of course you can explore uh, and then you have how many burns there have been over the extent, whatever period of time it is right now, seven days. Uh, you can look longer, by the way, there is a, a protocol in which you can do that. Uh, and you should always check this place out. Uh, and you can do white or dark, by the way, uh, just like most of these other ones. And then the important one right here, Terraport Classic. If you're looking to trade, if you're looking to do something, I was told, and, and I want to tell you, and I want to preface this with something very, very important. I was told early on that uh, Terraport.finance is, a, 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 is just a blockchain that's running next to Luna Classic. And anybody who trades on this is, is um, uh, using a different blockchain. None of that was true. None, none of that was true. Uh, I, I get weird information from people constantly, uh, people who are uninformed that pretend to be informed, uh, but it's not. Uh, this is actually built as a DAP into the, the Luna Classic system. So everything that you do on Terraport.finance, guess what? Burns Luna Classic, duh. And then uh, not only that, 
but you have a pretty big list, a pretty robust list. And you, if you have a token, can you can do the same thing over here. But you have Luna Classic, you have Cremation, Tritium, Osmo, USDT, and USDC. If you want to stabilize uh, BNB, USTC, GRDX, FRG, Frog, L LNW, LUNW, S Frog, Lenny Lunk, TADF, LNC, Sun, Eagle, Food, H Meme. You got Raykoff. Every time I see Raykoff, it just makes me so furious and angry. Uh, Southern District of New York. Ugh, Jesus Christ! How do you how do you, how do you how do you argue about a president and then you have an eighty something year old guy as your judge? Like, are you hypocrites? Yeah, you are. Uh, then you have Elon. You have LWN. So if you want to do some trading and you want to get into this ecosystem, then all you have to do is put your wallet in here, and then you can start trading. Uh, and and you know, of course as you kind of break it down, same thing that's happening over here is happening kind of everywhere. Uh, you, you can look at these, uh, uh, you can look at the models of uh, price action, stuff like that. And you can see, you know, exactly how these things have been trading. Uh, and we're going to swap that over there. Uh, you can see like the Rakeoff token. You can see all of these different tokens. You can see like, you know, what they're, uh, what they're doing over a period of time. You have your own little deck screener. Of course, you can use coin hall if you want to do anything else. But the important thing is you come over here, uh, you trade on, uh, Terraport.finance. And then, of course, um, the end result of that is um, you're, you're helping the ecosystem. And uh, remember, the liquidity, if you want to look it up right here, uh, how you can earn, you can have staking and you can have yield farming. Uh, then you have your analytics over here. You have your vesting process over here. Who's part of it and who gets to claim it? Um, and, and, you know, there's a, another vesting coming pretty soon. You can see there, there's just zeros right now, but uh, there are vesting processes over here. And then there's governance. This is a DAO. So in, in the event you want to put up something, uh, then you are able to do that because that's the way this process works if you're a holder. So go check out Terraport.finance today. Cryptonomy.finance is your venture capital investment fund. If you're looking to launch a project and you need seed capital, Contact Cryptonomy.finance today. They have a $74 million investment fund, and they've processed over $10 billion in the last five years. So far, guys, on my flexible account, I've earned 0 0.001 Bitcoin. On my fixed account, this is where it gets interesting. We're going to make another deposit here, 0.5 Bitcoin. We're going to do this for 12 months again. We've created another staking protocol with a half a Bitcoin for the next one year. Checking my Ethereum holdings, you can see that by the end of this vesting process, I will have 3.23 Ethereum more than the three that I put in. And the most important thing, gentlemen, ladies, the launch pad. The launch pad is still producing significant yields on every launch. My accrued interest so far, a little bit over $109,000. Can't stress to you enough, guys. Check out Cryptonomy.finance today if you need venture capital or if you just want to earn some yield off of your holding. Uh, if you're looking for some risk-based gaming, Terra ter Casino, uh, then if you're looking to just burn some tokens weeks, uh, make sure you lose, lunk, use Lunk Dash in the event that you're trying to figure out exactly what's going on and who's voting your way. Delegate with the people who are going to uh, do things the way that you want them to do. Look who's voting and delegate to the people who vote your heart not somebody else's heart. Uh, and then if you want to track it, uh, go to Lunk Burn and you can track everything that's going on over there. So uh, that wraps it up. I try to keep this as quick as possible, but you know, hyperbole, that's my thing. Anyway, you guys have a good day. This is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Don't forget, big time Binance Burn coming in just, uh, I want to say three days.